The undeclared war between China and Japan began on July 7, 1937 over in Beijing. Soon, two fronts were emerged, one from Manchuria and the other in Shanghai. The Chinese defeat in Shanghai allowed the Japanese entry to Nanjing, which was only less than 200 miles away. Nanjing, a city with a lucky defense of ancient mean walls, conscript garrisons, remnants of German-trained divisions, and Soviet pilot volunteers. Even before the Battle of Nanjing, reports have spread of Japanese atrocities during their advancement from Shanghai to Nanjing. The reason that the 10th Army is advancing to Nanjing quite rapidly is due to the tactic consent among the officers and men that they could loot and rape as they wish. The 12-day battle at Nanjing has been lost, with the capital of China captured by the Japanese. Even if the military battle has been lost, the fighting did not end it entirely on December 13, 1937. Although about three quarters of the Nanjing population had fled, for six weeks, the life for the remaining Chinese people in Nanjing became a nightmare. Japanese soldiers committed numerous atrocities including killing contests, pillaging, hunting down surrendered Chinese soldiers, and killing thousands of civilians in the streets. The streets were littered by bodies and approximately one third of buildings were burned and looted. Entire families were massacred, elders and infants were targeted for execution, and thousands of women were raped. Notorious examples of these were the Chinese civilians being rounded up and herded into slaughter pits. Contests between two Japanese soldiers who could be the first to kill a hundred people, etc. A small group of Westerners formed the International Community for Nanjing Safety Zone under the head of Nazi Party member John Rebe, attempting to use his status to ensure a neutral zone for remaining Chinese civilians and keep the Japanese soldiers out. However, some Japanese soldiers didn't keep to their promise of respecting the neutral zone. Where Rebe wrote in his journal on December 17th, Two Japanese soldiers have climbed over the garden wall and are about to break into our house. When I appear, Lei gives the excuse that Lei saw two Chinese soldiers climb over the wall. When I showed them my party badge, Lei returned the same way. In one of the houses in the narrow street behind my garden wall, a woman was raped, then wounded in the neck by the bayonet. I managed to get an ambulance so we can take her to Ku Lu Hospital. On December 18, 1937, General Iwani Masu grew dismay with the Japanese occupation, stating, I now realize that we have unknowingly routed a most grievous effect on this city. I personally feel sorry for the tragedies to the people, but the army must continue unless China repents. Now, in the winter, the season gives time to reflect. I offer my sympathy, with deep emotion, to a million innocent people. As though order has been proclaimed, killings continue until the first week of February, where a puppet regime has been established. As though no official numbers for the death toll, estimates range from 200,000 to 300,000 of civilian deaths, in which the extent of the atrocities have been debated. General Matsu, Lieutenant Hisao, and several officers were executing the Far East Tribunal trials. John Rebe was arrested by the Gestapo when he returned to Germany in 1938 due to his actions being detrimental to the German-Japanese alliance. After World War II, diplomatic relations were non-existent between Japan and the newly formed People's Republic of China, remaining like that until the 1970s where diplomatic relations were established. In 1995, Japanese Prime Minister Tomochi Murayama gave the first formal apology for Japanese actions during the war. Even with this, Japanese neo-nationalists criticized this event as a type of Chinese exaggeration, believing this as a type of war guilt. This has often been a contention in their relationship, straightening the sense of mistrust for both sides.